uh, said what are some of the more innovative developments that have happened in the industry with the sudden pandemic and consequent lockdown when people had to adapt you know and people pretty much didn't have any option i think the ingenuity when it comes to pre production and post production has been quite incredible i mean uh, the presumption earlier was that you've got to meet physically to actually be able to put a film together or a series together or a piece of content together but i think you know necessity is truly the mother of invention and people have gotten together remotely virtually uh, you know in ways that they never thought were imaginable earlier the fact that entire uh, you know large pieces of content could be prepped without people actually physically meeting and then actually post produced remotely from remote locations dubbing recording all kinds of things have been going on with respect to the use of technological aids that were at our disposal but because our predisposition is to actually do things physically uh, we weren't maybe using them to their full potential but now we are and even the shooting process i mean just the fact that the the level of discipline that's been involved in creating bubbles and ensuring that they are you know uh, maintained uh, we shot a show for netflix in manali and dalhousie uh, you know across 70 odd days without a single case on on the set and that's actually and and i know that lots of productions have actually been able to do that and that's testament to just the discipline of the unit uh, in being able to change their modes of behavior uh, it's it's not easy on movie sets because there's so much time with people just hanging around and you know uh, so so much labor involved uh, but we have managed to do it uh, that's on the operation side i i think with respect to using different modes of distribution that's also been you know something that we we've seen the quick adaptability from theatrical to streaming platforms and that's happened pretty quickly we've seen a lot of content creators of short format content actually blossoming and thriving in this time because they've been creating time relevant content and delivering it you know to people who've been so thirsty to get it uh, so i think lots of creativity with regard to content creation as well as the operations you know i wanted to ask you what forms of content i mean in this light i'm um, you know especially when people are consuming more of online content in the future how do you see a uh, i mean what kind of forms do you feel will be in demand and what would be different for the urban consumer and the rural consumer so i'll i'll answer your first question to start with i i think all all genres will still be in demand i i don't think we're going to suddenly have a time when people don't want to watch um uh horror or dystopia or you know there is an audience for all kinds of content i think the modes on which those, that content is watched might change quite significantly going forward that's just a hunch there's no way to know whether that will bear itself out but my sense is that a theatrical experience is now going to be more uh for the big blockbuster entertainers uh slapstick comedy uh, big stars uh horror you know things that need to be enjoyed with with a group of people and uh, need to be experienced with a group of people and the sheer energy of being together and having this experience i think the more intimate lighter uh, uh, drama light comedy uh, romance might actually move a little bit more to the ott space and uh, the good part is that today we have that ability to have a very viable you know other platform for those genres which might not have been that sustainable in a theatrical format now that people are so used to watching things in the comfort of their homes but genre wise i think uh, you know we we are going to have pretty much all the genres that we that we have today and hopefully more uh, in in the future as you said earlier there was a significant disruption in production schedules uh, because of the pandemic uh, how do you think government both federal and state can you know help uh, in easing this impact and uh, how there are two aspects to it i think if you look at the economic aspect frankly the expectations of the media and entertainment industry now are fairly low with regard to there being any government support for this sector because probably there there are so many other more uh, you know nuts and bolts sectors that the government believes needs its help and support so i think we should not be looking to government support when it comes to um uh, sops or benefits or you know anything of that nature what i definitely feel would help would be some more easing of the gst slabs number 1 number two a little bit more of a rationalization of the input and output credit when it comes to uh, you know the uh, flow of uh, gst uh, some sort of a tax incentive for cinemas to be able to uh, actually proliferate because they've been so struck down by the pandemic uh, that they they do need a bit of a fillip so not incentives with regard to actually providing them subsidies or funds but looking at probably a tax holiday the way that in the early 2000s uh, you know which which led to the multiplex boom that would be wonderful if that if that could be on the cards 
taking out the economic aspect i think the government can definitely help very strongly by making some very strong statements about their support for freedom of expression their support for people being able to create the content that they want to create obviously abiding by the norms that uh, you know have have been laid down for us but i think uh, the industry is in need of some show of support from the authorities uh, saying that uh, you know they have our back and uh, that other than you know things that are enshrined in the constitution that need to be protected with regard to the security of the country you know things that are actually you know mentioned in the constitution and are curbs to regular freedom of expression and are natural curbs that should be in place i think it's important for them to signal to the industry that anything else will not be um, you know will will not really be uh, looked at as something that they need to get into and that the industry will be therefore allowed to create the content that we want to